Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh Rotwani once again from learn-automation.com Today in this lecture we are going to talk about how to get started with test trigger and I will quickly show you some options that you will be getting with test trigger okay so that it will be easy for you once you start working with test trigger So in order to get started you just need to click on sign up if this is the first time you are using it you have to sign up if you have already signed up you can continue with the login part so depends on the requirement you can select a specific plan and you can continue for example if i click on the free plan you can see we have a first name last name phone number email password and some other details the moment you fill these details you are good to go you will get a confirmation mail just confirm your email and you can easily log in to test trigger so let me show you what you will get after login so let's say i have already logged in so at the moment i click on login okay i already have logged in into some other session so it will take that session and it will give me my existing test suite which i have already and here we go so on the left hand side you can see i have a couple of test suites in your case it will be completely blank so you can create test suite depends on the requirement i will show you how to do that so right now i have four test suite test suite 1 2 3 and one swig scenario On the right hand side you can see we can create a new test suite as you can see the test suite name it will ask you the type of testing that you want to perform if you click on this drop down option we have desktop web testing mobile web testing native and hybrid mobile right apart from this you can see the url actually that's the application that you want to test in case if your application have credentials you can directly pass the user and password from here and as you can see you can also give which operating system you want to use you want to select ubuntu you want to select windows and os x in the same way depends on which operating system you select you can select the browsers okay so browser chrome firefox and if you go with let's say windows and os x based on that the browsers will change now this is one of the good option from test trigger where it will automatically create your test cases okay based on auto discovery So it will scan your application that you will provide. It will check how many test cases as a user can be created, and it will create that test cases for you. So default number is ten, as you can see, and uh, limited. Uh, basically, when you go with free version, you have limited options like zero to ten. But if you go with paid version, there's unlimited numbers. Okay. So before we move ahead, I also want to show you the advanced setting part, as you can see. Now these settings you can change. even once you create a test suite it's not that you can create or uh, change at only at the time of test suite creation maybe once you're done with your test suite uh, creation and if you want to update them later on you can do that so if you click on advanced settings you can see we have a couple of other details like you can pass the authentication information proxy information speed optimization retesting information error report and integration with the different tools that you have right uh test generation and some other general details as well okay as you can see the screen resolution size uh, how do you want to process the next tab and so on so i will show you the same settings uh even after creating the test suite and this part which is very common that you will see uh in your test scenarios the timeouts right the maximum timeout scenarios payload scenarios download time delay for all pages to render and so on so right now I, i'm going to create one test suite with these details okay so let me quickly change this test suite name or the test suite name i will write as orange hrm test suite basically we will be testing one orange hrm application so based on that i have written a name called orange hrm test suite but you can change depends on your requirement okay now i will quickly enter the application url so this is the application url i will share this url in the comment section and in the description of this video so you can give it a try follow the same steps that i am following i will share the credentials as well in case if you want to follow the same application with the same credentials now you can see we have os details like which os you want to select i will select ubuntu because i have free account as of now and i will also select chrome which is the default if you want to go with firefox you can do that and right now i don't want any 
self discovery scenario or auto discovery scenario so i will select this as zero and i will quickly create a test suite okay so the moment i create a test suite it will take few seconds and your test suite will be ready so you can see test suite created test of web application started and you will get this dashboard now this is for this particular test suite so if you want to navigate to other test suite you can do that for example i have created three different test suites so i can navigate to each and every test suite and i will get the respective test suite details okay so now let me give you a quick tour about this ui so that you will be comfortable once we move ahead so let's start with the top right corner you can see as usual this is your profile section change password find a job and log out this part i will discuss in the upcoming videos for the timing let's not discuss this part which is find a job then we have a resource this is very important part guys so if you want to explore test trigger from your site you should definitely check their documentation it's very easy and very straightforward to use once we move ahead anyways i will show you these options how to use this documentation but it's self-explanatory like how to use the variables loop how to apply some validations conditional statements right how to work with tables upload file download file everything just to give you a quick example for example you want to have a click action okay so you can see we have a double click right click middle click long click how many times you want to click and these are the, some examples they have given like click on cart click on the third hello five times click chrome in the context of pixel 3 xl click in the middle of the screen double click right click long click right so multiple options they have already provided in the documentation which will help you to understand how this tool works apart from this as you can see some sample tests support q a and chrome extension as well so you can see i already have one chrome extension which is test trigger chrome extension which i will show you in the upcoming lectures for the time being just go through the documentation now in the left hand side you can see this is your test suite details okay which is all these details so right now the test case count is zero we have not created any test cases so count is zero the moment you create test cases this count will change again they have my request section btd section the last run like the moment you have multiple tests right it will show you the reports review and if any error it will show you here all the runs on this particular test suite and this is very interesting part which is shared suite for example i have three test suites okay test suite one test suite two test suite three and from the test suite two i want to inherit something i want to reuse something so if i want to do that i can do that with the help of shared suite okay so right now the test suite which we created which is orange hrm test suite right so if this test suite want to inherit something from another test suite we can do that from this section if i click on it you can see this test cases test data and test rules can be shared between test suites by the concept of inheritance a child suite will inherit from a parent and it can override the data if desired okay so as of now there is no parent suite selected um, but you can select which parent suite you want and you can inherit test cases test data test rules don't worry about this we'll discuss them one by one again we have reusable rules for example if you want to reuse something which is common across all the test cases you can actually create a rules and you can re reuse them in all the test cases a very basic example is log in log out right so log in log out is something which is common in each and every test case you can export them as a rules and you can use them in all the test cases again we have test data if you want to have some test data throughout your test suite you can do that okay we'll talk about how to use this test data in your test cases these are some default values for discovery cicd integration okay so they have options for bash and powershell and these are the settings these settings are the exact same settings which i was showing you at the beginning so either you can do this setting while creating your test suite or if you want to change these settings after creating the test suite you can go from here so you can see these are the default settings uh, which is just changing the name 
these are the authentication details okay basic and digest http authentication again proxy details uh, speed optimization where you can override the timeout and deletes retesting error reporting integration with the different tools right multiple browser supports so right now for our test suite ubuntu and chrome is selected but let's say you want to select different combinations you can do that from here okay so if you want to create a test cases then you just need to go to test cases sections you can create add custom test case and you can start writing your test cases so in the next lecture i will show you from the scratch i will show you how to write the first test case in test trigger and how to execute and uh, how to see the logs how to see the reports how to see the videos plus we will also take one scenario where we will fail the test cases and we'll see how to analyze the same okay so that's a quick tour about test trigger i hope it helped yeah that's all from my side so yeah thank you so much and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye